Hundreds of people who recently bought cars on Whidbey Island are wondering tonight if those cars are safe. Not road safe, but whether those cars are contaminated with meth. Como Force Brian Johnson is live in Oak Harbor with tonight's big story. Brian? Well, Dan, I don't know if you can hear me over the roar of the jet from Whitby Naval Air Station, but the health department is out here. And suppose you bought a car from this lot sometime in the last five years. The health department says you might be wise to have it checked for math. It's happening here at O&J Sales at Oak Harbor. Last month, the health department found meth at 5,200 times the state safe limit in the office and said three cars were contaminated. So today they brought in a new meth gun, the first time this meth weapon has been used in our state. It sends out a pulse of light and reads fluorescence, meth. Once they reach that threshold, the meth light will come on. Tim Shriver found eight more contaminated cars. The big problem, 1,600 cars have been sold from this lot in the last five years. The health department offered to test any of them. Butch bought this car a few months ago. He said it smelled funny. Tim found out why. This one comes up positive. Positive. This was a swab of what Tim found. You know, we're coming up real high. But tonight you drive it home? I'll drive it home. Keep the windows down a lot. <laughs> Others who had their cars tested were luckier. They were clean. I'm a single mom. When I read that it was um, contaminated, I was really worried about my kids. But everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness. Everything is not fine on the car lot. At least 11 cars contaminated. Mark Brown's son ran the business, but Mark is the owner, responsible for cleanup and possibly for damages. What's happening here, uh, you know, may be typical of what would happen on any car lot if they came under this kind of scrutiny, which just raises some real interesting questions about used cars. I've just been told that the final count of contaminated cars is 17. And Mark tells me his son never even sat in some of those cars. He got many of them wholesale. And Mark said maybe it's time the state consider testing cars before they're sold as used to protect dealers and buyers. Live in Oak Harbor, Brian Johnson, Como 4 News.